For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Do you, do you remember the days back before Facebook when it was fun to be on the Internet and use web forums? Do you want to beat Facebook? Are you worried about the centralization of Internet traffic that's going on there? The uh, Free Talk Live crew and I and some of the callers have been debating about what to do about this problem. Now, what I'm talking about here is written public communications. I'm not talking about private texting or secret stuff or audio. I'm talking written public com communications. Where I guess you could, if you wanted, insert a little bit of audio or video or pictures, but mainly it's written, it's links, it's like web forums. It's old web forums. You can see it without having to go through a jump through a bunch of hoops. It's available to the public. This is not the only, maybe it's not even the most important kind of communication, but it's needed. And it's missing with Facebook, where not everyone can see your posts, even if you want them to. It's missing with any sort of text uh, or phone system. Texting, I should say, you know, like Twitter, where the, the messages have to be limited. The only reason Facebook is really of any value is because it is widely used. So we need to make one of our communication platforms, our public communication platforms, widely used. Ian Freeman at Free Talk Live has been experimenting with Slack.com and Trello.com. He has set up a fairly halfway sort of successful account on Slack.com for the Keene area to uh, communicate and coordinate activism. He's recommended as a potential alternative the Shire Society forums, which used to be the Free Keen forums. I have pontificated that we might be able to do the best by reinvading the Free State Project web forums. Over the last month, I have experimented with two of the three options. I haven't tried Trello, but I joined the Monadnock, uh, monadnockliberty.slack.com group. Oh, uh, this monadnockliberty.slack.com group is not a total disaster. It's uh, got some traffic. It looks like about 17 members and about 75 posts over the last month. It has sort of gone dead over the last week or so, as of July 11th. And you have to register, or well, at least you have to sign in every time you want to see anything there. It's also too local uh, to be of use for the general state of New Hampshire activism and does not fill that role. If we wanted to serve the state with this particular service, we'd have to set up more accounts and more people would have to register more times. The people who are on Monadnock Liberty would, would have to re-register for, for some new forum. And it's not even a forum. It's closer to being a texting service. Of all the options I've seen, they do have the most traffic over the last month, 75 messages, uh, roughly. But uh, there are some other options that might be under consideration. The nhfree.com forums were the place where activism was organized until Facebook sort of took over. But I, I can't even tell what their current level of traffic is because it's very difficult for me to get into those forums. I uh, use a VPN a lot of the time, and uh, it blocks all my VPN access attempts. It blocks most of the Internet nodes I use that are not VPN, and there's only one, way, only one place I can ever get in. So whenever I'm at that place, I, I check nhfree.com forums, but other people are having this same problem. It's basically an issue with them trying too hard to eliminate spam. And I don't think the administrators have been able to fix this access issue w without exposing themselves to a lot of spam. So I don't think the level of traffic is that high, and it's certainly not very inclusive. It it's more like a click of old friends talking to each other there now. I looked into the Reddit options. There's a Reddit for New Hampshire. There is a Reddit for the Free State, but the Free State uh, Reddit only seems to have about 10 or 15 subscribers. It has acceptable levels of traffic, maybe 5 or 10 messages in the last month. The New Hampshire subreddit uh, seems to have fairly limited traffic, maybe 20 messages in the last month. And of course, it's not even liberty related, except geographically. Then there's the Free State Project forums. Unfortunately, the Free State Project Forum, according to longtime user and I think one of the admins, uh, John M., is, well, they're beholden to 501c3 rules to some extent. 
So that means, although you can post most things there, if you were to use that forum for organizing a political event, you would probably be asked to organize that somewhere else. Although 501c3 may be the wrong word, maybe it's a 501c4, but anyway, having registered with the federal government for certain limited activities, in order that it may receive tax-deductible donations, uh, the Free Staters have sacrificed some of their mobility, some of their uh, flexibility. I have to admit, though, that this status does not seem to have had any other major detrimental effects that I can name. Also, by the way, I may be wrong about John M. He may be a former admin. So for now, it seems like the best place you can go to kind of do everything that you want in New Hampshire is going to be the Shire Society forum, shiresociety.com. Uh, but they only have traffic of about, looks like 10, 5 or 10 posts a, a, a month. So they would have to be reinvigorated in order to uh, be very useful. I'm just going to go there now and start doing some traffic of my own to boost traffic as best I can. Hopefully others will do the same, at least until something better comes along. So uh, I urge your presence at ShireSociety.com forums. They used to be restricted so that you could not see what was going on there unless you logged in. And I think that restriction has been lifted. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.